Hey guys, Shelly here, and I have some special guests with us today. This is my daughter, Kaylee. Hi. And my granddaughter, Katie, is here. She'll be running around in and out probably. You never know when you're gonna see her. So just so you know, she's here too. <laughs> she was gonna help us, but she's in and out. So we're gonna be making some, uh, what is it called, molasses cookies? Is that what we're making? Yeah. Um, but we're gonna be using this uh, sugar cane syrup that we got from Walsh Farms. He so lovingly sent this to us um, after we had sent him some maple syrup to try. And so he sent us some of this. And it's good, but I wouldn't put it on pancakes. So I decided to put it on some, come on over here, honey. We decided to make some cookies, molasses cookies. It smells really good. Do you want to try it? Stick your finger in there. After she just licked it? Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Keep it in the family. Do you like it? Yeah. You do? All right. <laughs> Katie likes it. Okay. Katie approves. Katie approves. So we're going to uh, make the, these cookies and we're going to show you how we do it. And we'll also put the recipe down in the description. But um, we're going to show you how we're doing it and if we like the cookies after. Okay. Tell us what we have in here, Kaylee, for flour. Uh, two and three quarters cup of flour. Okay. And we put it through. I don't have a sifter sifter, so I use my um, strainer. And we just run it through that. And we've got two teaspoons of ground ginger. And we're going to do one teaspoon, if I can get it out, of cinnamon. Ooh, yeah. quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves. It's a rounded teaspoon. That'll be all right. Ah, flavorful. Smell delicious. Smells so good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nutmeg. Goes over here. And quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Which is almost gone, but we made it. We're good. All right, and then teaspoon of baking soda. Those are old, old spices. Well, <laughs> they're still working though. All right, I think we're done with. I don't think we need that for the baking soda. Probably not. No. Okay. Give uh, it a salt stir as well. But yes. Okay. Giving her a stir, quarter of a teaspoon, which is probably yeah, it was a little less than my pioneer woman salt shaker. It's very cute. Okay, and that is the dry ingredient. All right. And then we need a separate bowl for the wet liquid ingredients, the wet. which is going to be rum temp butter, okay. three quarters of a cup of rum temp butter. So that's two brown sugar. There we go. And that's three quarters of a cup of butter. And we need a cup of packed brown sugar, which is pretty accurate after bending my measuring utensil. We're not about accuracy here. We're uh, one bird dog whiskey in. <laughs> So it's as accurate as it's going to get. Right? And then I think we just beat those together. All 
All okay. right, so we beat the brown sugar butter and butter till it was fluffy. So now we're gonna add a large egg. Can you see that? Large egg. I'm gonna do it in this just to make sure. Mm hmm Cause you never know. You never know. Never know. So one large egg. Beautiful. Two teaspoons of vanilla, fresh, homemade rum vanilla. That's right. Shake it up a little bit. Shaky, shaky. Swirly, swirly. Still got the vanilla beans mm -hmm. in there. Oh yeah. yeah. Smells so good. So two. <laughs> okay, that's probably two. Awesome. This is gonna okay, be delicious. Hold on. <laughs> that was about two. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Two, Perfect. Two tablespoons. <laughs> Uh, and a third mm. of a cup of our pure cane sugar. Okay. After that. <laughs> this is a quarter of a cup. Well, yeah, that's this. fine. This is good. Yeah. Okay, we got enough measuring utensils to make this well, work. I wanted to make sure we had enough. Put it, move it over still. There's that. I was gonna say, I don't know where my spoon went, but now I know. I had it over in the butter. Ooh. Beautiful. Yummy. And then. So then we mix this up, and then we're gonna slowly add in our dry. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's when we got ours, I'm pretty sure. It's just getting, I used to just beat it every time I hand, but I can't now. I know, now it's like specific. All right, so now that we added the dry and wet together, this dough is gonna sit in the, the fridge for about 30 minutes and cool. Um, and then covered in the fridge. Yep. And then we'll take it out and roll it into balls and get it into the oven. Mm. We roll it in sugar too. Yeah. All right. But Sounds good. I'll be the first to contest I'm that the dough you. tastes delicious. I'm a, I'm you want to put your finger in there again? Do you really <laughs> like that? Yeah. I so our friend, our friend Tony. Our friend Tony Walsh sent that to us. Can you say thank you, Tony, to the camera? So can you say thank you, Tony? Thank you, Tony. <laughs> All right, and try it again. You don't want to try it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay, try it. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. Put it in your mouth. mouth. And it won't drip. Lick it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> there like we go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> You're gonna go wash your hands now. Okay. <laughs> we'll be back when it's time. Okay. So dough has been in there for a little over 30 minutes. In the fridge. In the fridge. Yep. So it's a little bit more wet than probably you'd want it to be. Sometimes you roll it with your hands and then roll it in the sugar. Um, we probably could add it to more flour and been able to do that, but <laughs> we're just gonna use a scoop and um, scoop it, dollop it, and maybe just sprinkle some sugar on it and it's gonna be the same. Same idea. Same thing, just like that. <laughs> we preheated the oven at what? Did you tell me? 350. Pre the oven is preheating. Yep, so it's getting ready for us to pop these in here. Yep. And you want them about two inches apart because they're going to spread a little.
So now we're gonna bake them for eight to 10 minutes on the middle rack. All right. Well, we made some cookies. You wanna try it? <laughs> Take a bite. Nice and warm, really pretty. They smell good. <laughs> mm. Mmm, that's pretty think? good. Do you like it? Ooh, damn. Definitely a different take on the yeah. class, classic molasses cookie. Yeah, I think yeah, so too. Good. They're good. They are good. <laughs> See? Good. Three-year-old approved. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> Really? <laughs> so thanks, Tony and Jackie Walsh. We really appreciate um, you guys sending us the sugar cane syrup. And we've still got quite a bit left, so we'll be making some more of something, maybe more cookies. They came out really good, and we really appreciate you sending it. So thanks for watching, guys. Anything else to say? Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. See, see you later.